Objection! Hey everybody, it's Deki Nosai here with another episode of Super Luigi Galaxy. In the last episode, we took down a lot of the galaxy in Dusty Dune and died a lot, and in this episode, we're gonna take down the Sunbaked Sand Castle. Now, this is actually one of my favorite galaxies. It actually has one of the main features that I like about Super Luigi Galaxy, and that's be th they were clever. Just press this button, and all of a sudden, you're rising! Yes, and you have to be careful not to get squished, and these star bits will actually help you find your way. <laughs> and also, you see there that chicken crapping bombs at us. <laughs> And there's a super mushroom here, I'm not gonna take it, but uh, you can get that if you want. But I find myself dying more than anything trying to get that. <laughs> Moving on to the second part of the level, uh, after we get out of the sand, thank you. <laughs> you have a star chip puzzle. And it involves, well, the mechanic that we just talked about. You have to lower, or in this case, yeah, we have to lower this part because it's already raised. And there's stuff buried under here. Like this. And as you can see, the shape comes out and everything along with it. And I'm gonna grab this turtle shell because I have a feeling that I'm gonna need it. But I think I just missed it. In fact, yeah, I just missed it. I just missed the opportunity, guys. But oh well. So we're gonna come around here and what do you know, a star chip. Behind all these dry bones that are gonna hop out and try to eat me, but nope. No sorry, Bob, I'm too decky to do that. I decky so hard, man. <laughs> so we're gonna make it go up if we can get on the thing. Alright. Now we should come across a star chip somewhere along the line. Right around I think it's this side. Yeah, yeah, this side. And then we get this turtle shell again. After we get out of the sand, I- Ow! Excuse me, sir. Alright, now we're gonna be really careful about this. Uh, we don't want to die. Because being dead is not fun at all. Alright, now as soon as that goes up, I think I know what- I know- I think I know which side there's a treasure chest on, and it's this side. I'm gonna be careful. There it is! Yeah! Gotcha! <laughs> Alright, so... Pretty much after this, it, it it is kind of time consuming. I have to admit this this mechanic, it might have been might not have been the most well thought out mechanic in terms of like being quick and efficient. But if you do it right, you'll pretty much just go through it anyways. All right, so after that long wait, we can access the next part of the level. Isn't this exciting? Now you start off with this little pokey thing, I guess. <laughs> this planet actually, like, I, I can't really describe it very well, but it shrinks and, like, grows bigger at the same time. I don't know, I don't know what's going on with this galaxy. But we don't have to deal with this planet for so long, so we can just move on to the next, <laughs> the next planet. So you can just grab this one up if you want, I'm gonna take it. And what you really want to do about this Pokey is since there's nothing on this planet to deal with it... Okay, wow, I was tripping for a second, but you actually have to go down here and grab one of these to uh, tomatoes. What the heck? <laughs> you have to actually want to grab one of these coconuts. It, it hints you by angling it upwards. You have to basically throw it up there. And then you want to go back up there. And what do you know? You'll be able to take out that Pokey after all. So after you get used to handling these coconuts and pretty much playing soccer, you can try to... Okay, um, seriously. What? Okay, okay, even the pokey face palmed, really? Ugh! Right in the face. We just hit that pokey right in the face and now he decapitated him and killed his head. Yeah, that's how we roll. That's how we roll murderous Luigi all the way. What up, son? <laughs> Never again. <laughs> so this takes us to one of our, basically what I really, really like about this level. You take, you jump all the way down here and get out of this sand. Seriously, stop playing in the sand, Luigi. You're not Gara. I did not just say that. Whatever. You break open this chest and all of a sudden, you have a warp pipe that takes you over there. 
<laughs> so pretty much you just want to break everything that you can see and oh my god the sand is going to rise my favorite mechanic is finally working against me <laughs> all right so pretty much you just want to go through all of this and it's it's like a you know you go through one path and it's constant lava after a spiral staircase kind of thing I mean, it might as well be lava, except it smashes you against the ceiling and you end up like a uh, pancake. Pancake Luigi. Not Mama Luigi today, it's Pancake Luigi. Well, I guess that kind of goes together, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. Reminds me of one of those times where your mother made pancakes. What the hell am I even talking about? Star! So we took out the Dusty Dune Galaxy, and we still have a lot of stars to go with that galaxy, but for now I'm gonna pass on that. I'll take it, I'll take care of it later. For now we're gonna unlock this guy. It is the Honey Climb Galaxy. Oh my. So our one and only star is scaling the sticky wall. Did it just get sticky in here? I really said that. <laughs> Alright, so we have our standard um, honey hive kind of thing. You can pretty much just break this. It's, it's not really connected to the honey hive kingdom anymore. It doesn't really have a story. You just climb the wall. <sighs> this makes me want to play Assassin's Creed. But then again, it also makes me want to play Skyward Sword, because this is a Wii game. <laughs> Anyways, if you make this coin, or if you get, if you grab this coin, rather, you can make these platforms appear, and there are star bits to collect, obviously, and... Yeah. And yeah! There we go again. And yeah! <laughs> God, I complain about myself too much. But yeah, that, that completes... I did it again. That completes this section. And I love how they give you, like, all these rings of star bits. It's just fun to use the pointer to collect them. I, I love how this game just introduced the pointer like that. It's, it's awesome. What the heck? Get out of my way. All right, so welcome to Death Mountain, folks. Um, we are pretty much going to go to fight Ganon in a few moments. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, of course. I mean, this is a Mario game. Who, who doesn't fight Ganon in a Mario game? Seriously. <laughs> Ow. Jerk. Alright, so, um, what you actually want to do to try to avoid these is just, just fly over them. Yeah, fly over them. Hopefully land on one of these without, like, running out of your fly meter. And I think there's something up here. Don't count me. Don't, don't count your chicken. No, there isn't. Okay, well, we can just fly under this anyways. And what do you know? More star bits. I love it. And of course, there's another bee here, if you want it, but I'm not gonna take it. Well, I already did take it, actually, but whatever. <laughs> you don't really need it. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I kinda, I kinda freaked out for a second. Um, these things will actually try to nom you, because they don't like you. They really don't like you. They want you dead. They want you dead. <laughs> Uh, this shouldn't be t uh, there, there shouldn't be much left to this level to be honest. It's pretty much over. You just have to su climb this summit. This is your equivalent to mountain climbing. It's kind of sad to see that this is the last galaxy that features the bee mushroom though, but whatever, it, it's how it is. Alrighty, so now we have a speedy comet in the Dusty Dune Galaxy. <laughs> Deep voice for the win. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna speed run this. We're gonna over pro speed run this! Oh my god, oh my god! Alright, Pokies. You're gonna die! Die! 
<laughs> you too, naked pokey. Come on out. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop being demented now. This is actually a pretty, pretty unique galaxy in my opinion. Actually, it's not. It's a repeat of the last galaxy, but you have to do it a little bit faster, but not really. It, it's, this, honestly, I think this galaxy wasn't a prime example of a galaxy to use a speedrun on, because it's really simple. Like, it's not that difficult to do this galaxy. It's not fast, you, you can do it very fast. They could have at least made it, you know, cut it a little bit closer, but... Like, I think I'm probably gonna finish this with, a, I think, two minutes left. In my opinion. So, uh, can we get... Ah, dang it, we missed! Oh, well, we can still get this one, and then we can just break open this. Just like before! And what do you know, there's a shell on the other side of the planet. That's right, we get to go to shell. <laughs> Don't forget this, 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 don't forget this, 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 this. Okay, shut up. <laughs> okay. So we got the friggin' things and... You know, I like tacos. That's just my opinion, I really like tacos. Oh yeah, that green arrow, that green arrow is just a shortcut. It's very similar to the, like, the bonus thing in, uh... Good Egg Galaxy? I almost forgot the name, wow. That, it's very similar to the Good Egg Galaxy bonus stage, like the thing where you go to the orange pipe and you have to get all the music notes, it's that. It's exactly that, except you get three lives. And then it just takes you here. So as you can see, there are no tornadoes, none at all! Nothing at all! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay, shut up. But, um, yeah, you can pretty much just go over here, and what do you know? You've seen this before. Okay, so maybe we're, we're not gonna make it for two minutes, but we're gonna make it under one minute, surely. Don't call me Shirley. I mean, my name's not Shirley. My I, I'm not Shirley, I'm Decky, you see? <sighs> so, pretty much all you have to do is just, you know, butt smash this. It's pretty simple. And after you get all this going, you have to tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Talk over and over and over again all day long. I'm not gonna sing the lyrics to TikTok. You have no idea how much I'm not going to do that. By the way, you guys were telling me that triple jump is awesome, and I kind of agree. Like, if you if it's your style, go for it. But I tend to like backflips a lot better. Okay, so after finishing all of these galaxies, we are going to take on the boss. Now, I didn't actually finish all of Dusty Dune, but we're going to just jump right into the whole um, Bowser's Dark Matter plant. The one and only star in this galaxy is darkness on the horizon. Darkness! Okay, not again. <laughs> Never again, Deki. Never again. All right, so this galaxy is pretty, uh, actually pretty simple. There are a bunch of traps here too. Just be careful of the gravity. <laughs> but yeah, this galaxy is actually very, very simple. All you have to do is just do some platforming. This purple goop will actually kill you. It's much like poison mist. And you don't really have to worry about much of the platforming here, to be honest. It's all really simple. You'll notice the gravity arrows are here. That's pretty much a... Uh, you want to try to angle yourself to where the next gravity arrow you're going to meet is the one you're going to be standing on. So, say for example, like coming up in a minute. Yeah, you want to position yourself here because then, like, if you're standing on the top of this, you would actually fall off and you wouldn't be able to do anything. 
I'm not gonna go for that one up, by the way. One ups are no, no, no. I don't want no help. I don't want no one up. <laughs> so this this part, the dark matter is eating holes in space. Watch out for those holes, or you'll be I whatever. <laughs> So things are looking a little bit holy over here. That's right. I guess you're gonna get a hole in one, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Horrible puns, but yeah, there are dimensional sinkholes in here, and they will kill you. They will eat you. They want you for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they will share you between all of their cohorts. Trust me, it's not pleasant. <sighs> Okay, now that I've vented out my anger on that defenseless one-up, uh, um, come on, come on, get get up there, Luigi, get up there, come on, come on, come on, okay, fine. Alright, so onward we go, obviously we have more gravity gimmickry, yes, we want to, whoa, we could actually jump across that, okay, <laughs> you want to be careful about the whole, you know, goop over there, the icky paint-like goop. <laughs> oh god, many people are going to be asking me to play Super Mario Sunshine now, but not really, because nobody really asked me to do that. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to angle myself over, I'm going to angle myself over this way so that I can gravitate to the to the right, so that I don't fall through the space and die miserably in a poison field of <laughs> Same with th same thing with this up arrow. It's not pleasant at all. Not pleasant at all. And again, I want to jump over this and just get to the l where it gravitates you to the solid surface. And yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Again, there I go with and yeah. And that that one was actually pretty tricky. If you had kept on there, you would actually be set to gravitate to the right, which would put you in that poison mist. But fortunately for me, I'm. Well, I'm not gonna say I'm the Miss Master because, you know, there's another person who already has that job. But, you know, use the stairs here! Duly noted, Luma. You can get the mushroom right here. Thanks a lot! No problem, buddy. No problem at all, bucko. Oh, great. You have to have your own little introduction, huh? Oh, it's you! That's it, Luigi. I'm gonna stop you in a space bits. Oh wow! I almost said something very vulgar just now. Just now. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna stop you in a space bitch. <laughs> nice. All right. So he's gonna do his little shock waves, and what do you know? He does the same mistake as before. I hope he would have learned his lesson by now, but his butt's gonna pay for the price. Yes. I'm mad. I have anger problems. <laughs> now you want to actually be careful around these fireballs. They actually do stick around for a bit, and if you don't pay attention to them, they can hit you. I'm probably gonna run into that. Pro Ow! Okay, yeah, okay. I didn't knock on wood there. And every, of course, every time you get hit, he jumps back to whatever he was doing before, and he'll pretty much go, "Hey, you need time to chillax." So I'm gonna just do what I did before. And, you know, not really, you know, do anything. And, oh my god, you know? Like, you're not saying, you know, enough. Because, you know, there's just nothing you know about, you know? <laughs> Alright, so we want to whip his tail again. What do you know? Oh, I'm getting mad now. <laughs> so he's going to do the fireball thing again, and... You know, he, to be honest, this can, this can be really challenging to avoid. There's probably some things you just have nothing to do. Just nothing to really fight against. And oh my god, he's really... What? Okay, okay. The three spin attacks and a back... And the fireball hits me? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you Samus? Are you Samus Iron? Or Aran? <laughs> ah! Good thing after he starts running with his tail on fire, you don't really, uh, do anything. Ooh, Croco's brushing a tail fire! <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. How you like that, Koopa? God, I have a hangover! Ah! 
Not bad, I guess I chose the right guy to be my arch I mean, At least you put up a fight. But it's too bad for you because my master plan is almost complete. Tough luck, Luigi. Voice cracks all the way. Force powers! Luigi, use the force. So I guess our career is over. We beat Bowser and there's nothing left to live for, so... This is my final goodbye. Not really, let's get the star. We have ascertained the location of your special one. Please take a look by the circle at your feet. That number represents the power stars you need to reach the center of the universe. That number will decrease with each power star you recover. And when it reaches zero, the common observatory will regain full power and fly as a starship again. And then we will be able to reach the center of the universe. The Common Observatory has full power! Now it can fly through the cosmos again! It's time. Do you want to go to the location of your special one at the center of the universe? No! Please speak to me again when you're ready. <laughs> okay, so that's about it for this episode of Super Luigi Galaxy. What you are looking at is the new dome that we are going to be taking off on Adventures 2. <laughs> Until then, take it easy and decky hard.